Good day grade 10. So in this video, I will be discussing about this certain problem a sub n equals 5n squared plus 3 as per request of Angel Lava. So dito, ang hinahanap lang ay yung first 6 term nitong sequence na to. So para mahanap yun, yung n kasi dito, ayun yung number ng term. So, si a sub n is yung nth term. And n can be any number. It can be 1, 2, 3, 4, or any number. So, yung first term natin, yung first term, first term is equal to n equals 1. Parang ganyan siya. Yung second naman, second term, ay... Ganito, n equals 2. Third term, n equals 3. So, yung value ni n, ayun din yung number ng term. Meaning, gagawin lang natin dito, para makuha yung first 6 term, is to substitute. Paano? First, kunin natin si first term. At sa first term, is n equals 1. Or, magiging siyang, a sub 1 equals 5 ito, A sub 1 na siya meaning yung n natin yung n natin dito naging 1 kaya pagdating dito natin dito yung lahat ng n dito sa right side ng equation ay magiging 1 so substitution so dito 5 times n squared pagdating dito sa first term magiging A sub 1 equals 5 times 1 squared plus 3. Ayan na yung first term natin. Nakita nyo? Yung n natin nagbabago depende sa number ng term. So, kailangan natin kunin first 6 term. Kaya yung n natin magiging n equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 until 6. And first, yung first term natin, ayun syempre ay a sub 1. Then yung n natin, dahil nga siya ay first term, papalitan natin ng number 1. Then, solve. 5 times... Una muna ito. 1 squared is 1. So, magiging 5 times 1 plus 3. Then, 5 times 1 is still 5. Kaya, 5 plus 3 na lang siya. Then, 8. Siguro naman dito, sim simpleng pag-solve na lang. Wala naman siguro kayo mga problema. Then... Next tayo, yung a sub 2, which is yung ating second term. Equals 5, yung n natin, sa second term, magiginang 2. 2 squared plus 3. Then, magiging 5. 2 squared is 4. Plus 3. Then, 5 times 4 is 20. Plus 3, magiging... 23. So, meron tayong second term. Second term natin is 23. So, ganyan lang. Tuloy-tuloy lang. A sub 3 magiging 5 times 3 squared plus 3. Nakuha nyo na ba yung pattern? Substitution lang. 3 squared is 9. So, magiging 5 times 9 plus 3. And 5 times 9 is 45 45 plus 3 is 48. Ito yung third term natin. Plus yung fourth term natin, hindi ko nasasolve ng step by step. Pero ganito gusto ko makita ang solution niya. 5 times 4 squared plus 3. Ang magiging sagot dito ay... Um, 4 squared... 6, 83. Then... A sub 5 natin, magiging 5 times 5 squared plus 3. Ang sagot dito is 5 squared 25, 25 times 5, 125 plus 3, 128. Then last yung ating A sub 6. Yun ay 5 times 6 squared plus 3. So 6 squared is 36, 36 times 5. 
is 180, 180 plus 3 is 183. So, as you can see, ito yung mga nakuha nating term. First term ng sequence na to, a n, a sub n equals 5 n squared plus 3. Ang first term nga is equal to 8. Second term is equal to 23. Third term is 48. Fourth is 83. Fifth is 128. And the last or the sixth term is 183. So, gawin ko lang siyang list. So, si a sub n equals 5n squared plus 3. Ay, ito yung kanyang first six terms. Ano-ano yun? 8, 23, 48, 128, and 183. Ito yung nakuha nating first six term. And we're done. As you can see, makakita kayo ng patterns. Yung add term niya, first, third, first, third, fifth term niya. Ah, may kulang pa ba? 8, 23, 48, 83, di natin nalagay. Insert, 83. So, as you can see, yung first, third, and fourth niya, first, third, fifth, Nagkatapos sa 8. So, 8, 48, 128. Then, yung odd, yung even term niya, which is yung second term, fourth term, and sixth term, nagkatapos sa 3. So, ganun. Kasi nga, sequence, sequence siya. Conclusion, paano kumuha nito? Paano kunin yung first sixth term ng any given sequence? Substitute lang. Yung n, tandaan nyo, n is the number of term. And we can replace that if you're as if the question is asking for six term, then let n be equal to six. Ganun lang. So n lang sana na intindihan nyo. Bye.